Hey guys, <laughs> it's your girl Shalay and I'm back today with a second stimulus check update video. In today's video, we are going to discuss the most trending topic in the world and that is the second stimulus check and the timeline on when we can receive the check. We also are going to talk about one state offering a $500 stimulus check to their residents. So it's their own state stimulus stay tuned. And then we're going to talk about the IRS updating their information regarding this $500 dependent check, as well as for those who have yet to activate their debit cards. What are you doing? What, 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 what? We also are going to talk about that. And last but not least, hazard pay. So if you want to know what is going on in the lovely world of stimulus, my darling, stay tuned. Your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, Hi, hello, hey friend. My name is Shalay and here on this channel, we talk about shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy, click that big old red subscribe button down below and you are in just like that girlfriend. And go ahead and give me a like because for like the, I don't know, 19th week in a row, you know, I'm like your woman crush Wednesday, so like it. All right, so guys, before we go ahead and jump in, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all your positive comments under yesterday's video it's the positive vibes for me you guys were so 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 nice with the comments that i received it was nice to read them and the fact that you appreciate what i do because i truly appreciate you tuning in each and every day and to show my appreciation this friday payday friday i want to pay it back to you guys so tune in on friday's video and yeah, like have your stuff ready because I am going to help out some families this Friday. So you know, I gotta wait for my check to hit, okay? But once the check hit, I definitely wanna give back because truly guys, from the bottom of my heart, I really do heart you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's jump into it because you got me getting mushy and you know what, like, I don't even like that. Like I'm a real G about it. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Republicans propose new stimulus bill with no student loan relief, reduce unemployment benefits, Let's, let's talk about it. Republicans are trying to cobble together a narrow stimulus proposal when lawmakers return to Washington in September. The draft includes reduced unemployment benefits at $300 per week, so what they are right now, and we know that's a reduction from the 600, no direct stimulus payments to Americans, and the proposal also includes no student loan relief. Now guys, we're not even gonna entertain this because you know when you entertain clowns, you become part of the circus. Take that lightly, okay, I'm not saying that the Republicans are clowns, I'm not saying anything of that, but what I'm saying is this really doesn't hold any merit. Come on, we already know Republicans said that, hey, they want a stimulus check, we know Democrats said that they want a stimulus check, and we know the President said he wanted a stimulus check, and even Walmart said that it's a stimulus check. So now to even draft up something with no direct payments, and it's an election year, and you're trying to be reelected, this is not what you want. So like, we're not even gonna entertain that. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi suggested that the Democrats might be willing to make more cuts to their stimulus proposal to seal a deal with Republicans and speed up the relief and then come back after the November elections with additional agenda items. So Nancy Pelosi is very hilarious because at this point she's trying to say, you know what? When a new president is elected, we'll come back and get exactly all that we wanted and more, my darling. So she thinks she's slick, but, but I see what you're doing, Miss Pelosi. Okay, so according to her, she says, we're willing to cut our bill in half and meet the needs right now. We'll take it up again in January. Now, Pelosi's spokesman, Drew Hamill, said today that he she was referring to the previous offers to meet Republicans halfway, but not cutting our bill in half. So Pelosi says she's eager to get a stimulus package through Congress before lawmakers next month have to take up a bill needed to keep the government running when the new fiscal year starts October 1st. So she says, hey, we have to come to that agreement right now as well. So only time will tell. Now, there's all this little speculation going on that it could be something by Saturday. It could be something, you know, and as of right now, no one really knows when it's going to happen. But just to give you a timeline, just on several scenarios that could play out, guys, if they just say they don't agree on anything this week, which it doesn't look like is likely going to happen, then just say if they come back on September 8th or the final bill is negotiated, the Senate passes on September 8th, the House passes it on September 19th, and excuse me, September 9th, and then the President signs on September 10th, the first check could be sent out to us the week of September 21st. That's on the best case. Now, I don't know how that came up to the seven days that you know, 
Mnuchin said he can get it out. But just say if September 10th, the Senate passed it, September 11th, the House passes, and then the President signs September 14th, you're looking at September 28th. So pretty much you're looking at September, okay? We can go through all these scenarios, but we're looking at September if it works out that way. So who knows at this point, what do you guys think? Do you think that it's going to be a stimulus check? Are you just over it right now? Like, can your heart not take it? You know, let me know. But on Friday, I'm going to try to stimulate you, okay? Just a little. Well, that might not have been the best choice of words. But you know what I mean, okay? I'm going to try to do my own chalet's stimulus. All right. All right, so guys, let's go ahead and jump into it. If you live in Oregon, okay, Oregonians, I think that's how I said it, right? Can apply for a $500 state stimulus check. So it says... It was announced Oregonians still waiting on their unemployment benefits can apply for a one-time payment of $500 beginning today. The $35 million relief check program was approved by lawmakers in mid-July and it can help up to 70,000 Oregon residents facing financial hardships. People eligible for a relief check must make less than $4,000 before taxes per, per month. Also, if you lost a job, you must be an Oregon resident, be 18 or older, and the employer must have closed or the person's income has decreased significantly because of the executive actions by the governor to slow the spread of Rona. All right, people that are not eligible for this $500 is if your unemployment benefits are up to date because they're like, hey, already getting money so i mean i think at this point oregon just give it to everyone okay give the 500 dollars to everyone but yeah that's what they're saying if you're getting your unemployment you don't need the 500 dollars. but if you don't know anyone hey let them know all righty so let's go ahead and jump into it with the irs the irs has a question why have i received a letter indicating i haven't activated my debit card for my econ economic impact payment economic child deal with it later all right all right so <laughs> Taxpayers who were mailed a debit card for their payments but have yet to activate it was sent a reminder mail to the or reminder message to them by mail to activate it in July. So guys, if you receive the debit card, they said a lot of people threw the debit cards in the trash because they were not properly identified. It didn't have anything on the envelope. So if you were one of those people, if you received a letter stating, hey, activate it, then they sent you one. You probably threw it in the trash. But hey. So the EIP cards were originally mailed in May to about 4 million people who were eligible for the payments. Now the reminder mailing, the Treasury Department logo will be visible now on the envelope and letter. So they're gonna try once again to send you out this and it's gonna say important information about your payment. The inside of the letter will include instructions for those who have yet to activate your card. So if you're still expecting or looking for your payment, guys, see if you get one of these. And then it also has where you can actually get a replacement card as well. So. There you go. Now, who should use the non-filers tool by September 30th to receive the $500 per child payment? So the IRS open reopened registration only for individuals who receive Social Security, SSI, RRB, which is like the railroad benefits, or VA benefits, and who did not receive the $500 per child earlier this year when they filed their payments. So you can go to the non filer tool. It should be back working once again. And at that point, you can reapply for it. Now, if you did not file your tax return in 2018 or 2019 and you received SSI or VA or even SSDI, the IRS said that you can check your payment status for delivery if you have yet to receive your check at the Get My Payment portal and provide your bank account information. You will receive your payments as direct deposit or by mail just as normally as you would receive your benefits. So they're saying, hey, now if your information is currently deposited on a direct express card, your payment will be deposited onto that card as well. It says direct express account holders. If you use the non filers tool to add your spouse or qualifying children as well, you cannot receive your payment on your direct express card. You must select a bank account for direct deposit or leave bank information blank and you will receive your payment by mail. So that was for direct express account holders and you did 
add your children or your spouse using the tool, they won't put your money on your card. Also, the IRS said, hey, will they contact you regarding your payment? No, guys, no, the IRS does not initiate contact with taxpayers by email, text message, social media. They don't contact you at all. They're saying watch out right now because there's a lot of scams that are going on. Um, and so the IRS urges taxpayers to visit the IRS.com, excuse me, .gov, the official IRS website to protect against scam artists as well. So how can you avoid some scams just in case? Um, they said that, hey, trying to use your payments don't initiate contact they don't initiate contact and just watch for emails with attachments or links or special information about your payments or even answering phone calls they will not reach out to you you reach out to them now so that's all we have with the irs and i hope that gives you a little bit of clarity i'll leave it down in the description box regarding for that 500 dollars payment virginia beach virginia beach first responders will actually get hazard pay the CARES Act funding is making a one-time payment possible. It will go to police, firemen, EMS, and members of the sheriff's office. First responders can get anywhere between $1,000 and $2,000 in hazard pay, depending on your rank. Eligible health and human services staff can get $1,500. And the city spokesperson said hazard pay could come in a couple of weeks on your next pay period. In September, the council will vote on a one-time $1,000 payment to eligible city workers who have continued day-to-day -day operations for the city but did not qualify for the CARES Act funding. So that is all that I have, guys. Remember, you can always check the status of your payment on the IRS portal as well. So that is being updated daily. And guys, what I want to tell you is there's a lot of money that's going on out here. I'm trying to find the resources, but you know I'm only one person and it's hard to cover each and every state. But there's a lot of programs, whether your state is giving out their own stimulus check, their own hazard pay, their own little benefits programs. I'm going to be covering some of those videos this weekend. I'm trying to collect a lot of information so I can give you some resources because we need anything that we can get and we family like we all we got you know we all we have so let me know what do you think about the stimulus checks also let me know what do you think about the $500 payment with the IRS are you one of those people that still either awaiting your first stimulus check or are you awaiting your deposit as well um, for your dependent check we'll say that and then let me know about Friday how much do you think that I should give away? Should it be a number of families? Um, let me know. Now, guys, y'all know I'm not rich. Don't even try to. I don't have. I don't have like Cardi B money. Okay, I don't. I don't have that type of money. Okay, like, but I do the little bit that I do have. I want to give back. So please tell your friend, like, comment, share, and what you doing this Wednesday? Talk to me, family. Talk to me in the comments. Talk to you later.